First tonight at 5.30, a follow-up to our latest 12 on 12 digital original, The Business of Cannabis. Last week on WPRI.com, we took an in-depth look at the multi-million dollar marijuana industry here in Rhode Island. Rhode Island is getting ready to triple its number of dispensaries in 2020, but the proposed process for issuing those licenses has garnered some protest from some who want in. Target 12 investigator Steph Machado joins us now with the new details. Alex Levine's company raised eyebrows when they demanded the state start issuing licenses for new medical marijuana dispensaries. But Levine tells me he wants what he calls fair licenses given to companies capable of distributing safe and effective medicine. A facial recognition device allows us to enter the Kelsey Green Cultivation Facility in Warwick. We take what's called an air shower. This facility is not yet growing cannabis. Kelsey Green, owned by Growth Industries of New England, was approved for a state cultivation license in 2017. CEO Alex Levine says they spent more than $5 million building this facility inside a Warwick warehouse. Our driving principles is quality and price. Levine said everything in this facility is medical grade, from the walls to the air ducts. $1.8 million spent on this custom air conditioning and filtration unit alone. The goal is standardized medical cannabis. So you'll be able to say the exact temperature, data readings every single day. But the state has held off on granting this company a license to grow, first asking for more information about their finances. Levine says they responded with 800 pages of documents earlier this month. So there's four stages of filtration. Levine also has bigger aspirations. His other company, Green Reservoir, wants one of the coveted six new licenses to be a medical marijuana dispensary. It would buy medical cannabis from Kelsey Green. If you're controlling every aspect and putting quality measures into every aspect. The end consumer, which is the patients, which is what ultimately this all matters about, gets the best quality medicine. Green Reservoir already made news in October after its lawyers at the time threatened to file a lawsuit if the state didn't start taking license applications immediately. Levine says they've now cut ties with that law firm and won't hire a lobbyist for the upcoming legislative session. But he still takes issue with Governor Gina Raimondo's plan to use a lottery to to pick the new dispensaries. I feel if you're a patient, you should feel very uneasy about that whole process. Merit has to trump everything uh, when you're talking about a medical facility. Ramundo explained her rationale in an interview for our 12 on 12 digital original, The Business of Cannabis. I don't want any special deals for special people. I don't want any insider deals. I don't want any legislative meddling. I don't want politicians making these decisions, myself included. The Department of Business Regulation tells me they are reviewing Kelsey Green's newly submitted financial documents, partly to check for any ties to other Rhode Island cannabis companies before they'll decide if they can start growing marijuana in that $5 million facility. With the Target 12 investigators, I'm Steph Machado, Eyewitness News. And to learn much more about the business of cannabis in Rhode Island, be sure to check out Steph's in-depth digital original right now on WPRI.com and the WPRI News app.